Well, hello there everyone, this is Glebe, and this is the EVE Online LP that I'll be doing. Uh, basically, just to keep my mind off how the world is. Luckily, 2011 is over, so that's fine. And we have choices here. We're going in the character creation, because I want to see... Uh, I want you to see this from the very start. And we've got four races here. We've got the Kaldari. They tend to favour um, all the easy stuff. The Minmatar, who fly rust. The Amar, who have lasers, and the Galente, who have drones. And I'm going to go hard mode and play Min Matar. I'm going to play you this introductory movie so you can understand the, um, the story behind them. Once a thriving tribal civilization, the Min Matar were enslaved by the Amar Empire for hundreds of years. Most were freed after a great rebellion but only at a tremendous cost. Today, the Min Matar Republic is a strong, resurgent nation, determined to win back the glory of its past. Yeah, so that's the Min Matar. Let's go ahead and continue. And at this point, we shall be choosing our bloodline. Now, it used to be that the bloodline was quite important to how you started the game. I. I understand that now that it actually makes no difference. I'm just going to go ahead and choose Brutor because, well, they look badass. <sighs> Bloodline and gender, apparently. Okay, so that's that chosen. And now we do the customization. See, he smiled, he likes it. So that's what I look like. And the name? Glebe. Because that's me. And Ludic, because Latin. Don't you just love loading screens? Welcome to your new life. My name is Aura. I have been installed via neural visual uplinks and embedded within your neocortex. I will always be here. My primary role is to assist whenever you need me. I'm communicating to you now through the Neocom. This interface allows you to interact with a range of services and menus. Let me know when you are ready to continue. You can review any of these tutorials again at any time. Good. The neural uplink appears to be functioning. Could now told you that, that your original body has been euthanized without complications, you are ready to begin training as a capsule pilot. First, you should get used to your new clone. Wait, what? My original body was euthanized without complications. So already I'm a clone and the original me has been killed? Freaky. Take a moment to walk around your captain's quarters. I'll run a few last minute tests on your basic motor functions while you stretch your legs. So, yes, this is captain's quarters. Nice mirror there, he's not interested. And that out there is the docking bay. You are now being provided with a skill book. Ooh. The ability to learn by direct cerebral augmentation is one of a Capsuleer's most important abilities. Your brain has been modified to allow for the direct injections of skill books, which will remap your neural structure to accommodate new ideas, experience, and knowledge. Locate the skill book in your item hangar. The Neocom allows you to access the station's I access your skill queue to begin training. This is where you manage skill training. Oh dear, you've caught you've caught me there. So I'm gonna have to quickly log out, stop my other character, and come back. So I will see you in a minute, guys. Right, so I'm coming back, and hopefully, hopefully, she will uh, let me carry on where I access your skill queue to oh, begin training. 
This is where you manage skill training. So yes, the item is already injected. Open the character sheet. Skills tab. Add the skill to the queue now. You can schedule 24 hours worth of training. Remember, skills train in real time, so you should always have a skill in training. So... Shield operation. What am I doing? I know you're around here somewhere, so... Yeah, just click apply. That's fine. And... You know what? Add it again, just, just for good measure. Yes. Okay, so... Yep. You're ready to begin the pilot certification course. This course covers navigational basics, in-space piloting, combat, and interstellar travel. When you're ready to begin your certification, speak to me through the agent panel. So, talk to Aura. Tell you what, that, that window is going to get in the way. Proceed down the hallway to the ship hangar balcony. There, you can board your capsule and undock. So, I'm going to get my first ship, and I do actually have a ship, but, uh, you know what, let's trash that, because if I'd have done this right, I wouldn't have had that in the first place, so that's that gone. Uh, we can just walk down the hallway. Because she wants me to. Normally, I can just click here, you see, on the Neocom. Or I would be in this mode where I would just be able to view my ship out there, not that you can see it at the moment. You are ready to undock and get your first ship. This is not a simulation. So the let's moment go ahead you and undock. undock, you will be entering a live environment. Get to your ship quickly. Whenever you are given a mission, you will be provided with a bookmark to that location, allowing you to walk there. Now the bookmarks are available in people and places. Or you can just right click, choose the appropriate place, and away you go. Warpy, warpy, warpy. Take control of your camera drones now to change the view around your capsule. I already have Every one. Every ship you pilot comes pre-fitted with self-piloting camera drones. These drones function as your eyes in space and provide full tactical awareness. Camera drones can also move in and out from your ship. Ooh. You can control your drones manually and look freely about your environment. Use them now to locate the nearby acceleration gate. Yep, yeah, that's done. And click. I've relayed instructions to your Neocom on how to perform basic commands from your ship. Try selecting the acceleration gate now with le excellent work. You have arrived at the location. Locate your ship and board it. So, quick word about the uh, overview here. Normally I have this all the way down. And anything that appears in green like this one, that's friendly. Same if it's blue. If it's red, it's not so friendly. And if it's flashing, it probably wants to eat you. So, let's go ahead and click on this and click on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's only true of PvP. PvE is quite different, and we'll get into that later, because uh, luckily this uh, this tutorial chain does actually touch on the subject of uh, NPCs, which is just fine by me. A capsule pilot, common interactions are available in the selected items panel. Select the acceleration gate now and activate it from the panel. Yeah, You're already done, love. great progress. Now, travel to the final area of this training site and locate the item you are asked. If you need, you must now retrieve the item from yes, the structure whatever. in front of you. You have new instructions in your Neocom on how to transfer items to your ship's cargo. I mean, really, if you want to be following the tutorial, well, then pilot. you should follow it yourself. You get a, get a tri dock. trial account if you can. And uh, hop in game. In fact, what I'll do, if I click here, click here and here, I can set this to zero. That means it's absolutely free for you to contact me now. And if we go clicky clicky. And basically while I'm warping, I'll just go ahead and give you an overview of this. Let me just turn on percentage. No. 
Uh, absolute, no, that's the thing I clicked before. No, show readout, there we go. So we've got the shield here, and armor, and structure. And this is uh, represented in these bars. The whiter they are, the better. They kind of go round here with red, the more damage you take. And if it all goes red, then you'll soon end up in the capsule thing that you saw before. At which point you should get out there as quickly as possible. Contact me through the agent's menu to complete the mission. Sorry, I have a terrible call. So yes, these are just the chat windows. You've got constellation wide, which really you shouldn't be in. Local, which is uh, the system you're in. The system I'm currently in is Amold, and that's probably going to stay the way throughout this entire episode. A corporation, which is uh, a new corporation uh, run by NPC, so it doesn't actually do anything. But corporations are like guilds in this game. And Rookie Help, which currently has uh, two and a half thousand people in it, give or take. World. I'm recording an LP. Ugh, yes, I need to talk to Aura. Complete mission. So, we can press a new mission. Your next trial involves combat. In order to survive, you will need to fit modules to your ship. To begin, access the station's fitting services. So yes, that's the fitting services. Quick word about that. Uh, first of all, you've got your high slots, your medium slots, and your low slots. That's basically hmm, that's basically the the amount of power that these things take, the items that you can fit. Um, so you've got your high power slots, your medium power slots, your low power slots, and each ship can have up to eight of each. Uh, you can ignore these for now, this won't really be important until later. So this one's got two high power slots, which is typically used for guns and uh, uh, aggressive slots, basically. Uh, this is medium, this is where I will eventually be putting a shield module, and this is an empty low power slot which is where I tend to put things uh, relating to armor uh, basically that's where it goes so let's click on next your ship needs to be fitted with a weapon and a shield booster module both of these are being provided to you now your so weapon yes. is capable of dealing high amounts of damage at close range the small shield booster is your defensive module when activated it will restore a small amount of your ship's shields. You will not be able to keep it running constantly though, so only use it when you have to. So yes, here's, uh, here's the shield she was on about, but I can't fit it because it comes up with this, and uh, I can just put it in there for later. So, what is he on about? Ugh, whatever. So, let's close that because we don't need that anymore. Uh, please open that. Drag the okay. weapon onto your ship in the fitting area. It will fit when you are ready. Yeah, okay. Undock. So it turns out that I can actually fit that shield thing now. So if I right-click and do that, fit to active ship. That's a different way of doing it. You'll see before that I was actually dragging it on, but you can just cl right-click and choose fit to active ship. So that's all sorted, and we can close that window and we can undock. So, just like we did before, we need to choose, what, customs? No, uh, we need to choose our uh, destination, so right click, encounter, warp 2, which I've already done, which is why it's not there. And you see, it took longer for it to warp there. Basically, yeah. It's a bigger ship, so it takes longer to do things. And this is the smallest ship of this race that you can get into. The capsule it doesn't particularly belong to any of the races. It's just... Uh, it's basically you. Raw you. All weapons require ammunition to fire. 
You are now being provided with close Speak range right ammunition. Like Load your weapon now. So you can either do it uh, like she's saying, right click and choose it. Or you can drag it on. But if you do the right click thing, it does more things automatically for you. So that's that's loaded. The type of ammunition you load affects the range at which your turrets can hit. You can access detailed information on your weapon through the heads up display. You just do that by right clicking and choosing show info. And it will show you here your optimal range, which is 400 meters. Basically you need to be in that range to be hitting 100% of the time. And the accuracy fall off, that's 4000 meters. That, uh, that when added to the optimal range is your 50% mark so you need to ideally be within that uh, 4000 mark now you can't actually hit anything you can't orbit something closer than 500 meters uh, automatically so uh, you choose what set okay so you choose that and you go 500 because that's the closest you can get so now I'm ready for combat I can close that window Activate the acceleration gate and proceed to the next area when you are ready. Off we go. Good work so far. Next, we need to do a weapons check before we send you into live combat. You should see a fuel depot nearby. Before you can fire on it, you must lock on with your own targeting systems. Like that? Get a target lock, close your range, and then open fire. Well, I'm within range, roughly. So I can just shoot it. And it's not moving, so I'm going to get 100% hit rate anyway. And this thing must be made of paper, because it's going down pretty quickly. You've taken damage from the nearby explosion. You should repair your ship now, now with the defensive have. module you fitted. So that's Remember the shield boost she's on about. Once you've repaired the damage. Okay, so moving on. And basically we're just choosing the acceleration gate and choosing activate gate. So I believe this is the point at which we start up, actually pilot. killing things. You have two hostile see, ships Red Cross inbound out. to your location. This is where you're going you to see, see the NPCs. You see them in your overview. Let's take care of them now. What, are we going to take them to a movie? So, best thing to do, get into range. Make sure you lock it as quickly as possible. And when you're in range, shoot your guns. And watch it fall out of the sky. There we go, isn't that pretty? So we've got another one, so orbit it. And we're too far away to actually lock onto it now. If I call up the tactical display and zoom out a bit, you'll see that there is a locking range. We can't lock anything outside of that range, that's represented by this uh, blob here. If you move over a thingy like this, then it shows you your, uh, your range of those guns there. You just once the red crosshair thing is inside both those circles, you know you can kill it to death. So let's get back into the action. Good work. The Bang. area has been cleared of hostile targets. Warp back to the station and dock to complete the mission. So we just go ahead and dock. Now, warping around is very boring, so I'm just going to cut these bits out. So I'm docked. Contact me through the agent's menu to complete the mission. When you've read the mission briefing, click accept to begin. I would, but I got to complete the mission first. So that's that done. Request a mission. And she wants us to retrieve certification documents from an office. Yeah, I can do it's that. It's time for you to leave this solar system, pilot. Ooh. Start by setting your destination in the mission window. There are over 5,000 systems in the known universe, Ooh. and all of them are connected by stargates. By setting a destination in your ship's computer, you make it easier to navigate the network of stargates. 
undock when you are ready. Well, I'm not quite ready yet, my friend. Because I want to show my friends some of the information that uh, you kind of glossed over. So, our destination is Pator, next system. But let's just give you some scale. Let's switch out to the map. Let's close these, uh, minimize that window. And this is the world. This is the jump I'll be making from Amol to Pator. And that is tiny compared to the size of everything. It's ridiculous. It's huge. And every single person who plays Eve is in this world. Most of them in here. Good chunk of them out there. But that's the world. It's huge. So let's escape the menu again and undock like she wants. So I've undocked. To get to your destination, warp to the Stargate leading to it. The Stargate you want to use will be highlighted on your overview because you set the destination beforehand. Once you have arrived at the Stargate, jump through to the next solar system. Click Next when you have arrived. Now, the crazy thing about this is that they've not updated the tutorials for the new system. You can actually just select the item and choose Jump. And because you're nowhere near it, it will actually do the warp and jump when you arrive. So, we'll wait for that. So that's a gate. Huh, bit of lag today. So yes, this uh, this is the Neocom on the side. And when things are highlighted like that, it means there's something for your attention. But usually it's because of something you've done, so you already know what it is. So I quite, I quite safely ignore that, and I prefer to have it minimised as well. So, click next. Oh, she wants us to walk to the Academy. So let's do that. Now you see I'm invisible here, and I should be becoming invisible, uh, revisible, whatever. Uh, there, we are, there I am. Uh, basically when you jump through a gate, just to make sure that you don't get killed by someone waiting on the other side while you're loading, you gain 30 seconds of invisibility. Not invulnerability, invisibility. You just can't be seen. Uh, if you can't be seen, you can't be locked onto. You've arrived at the Academy. Good work. Now, approach the Academy and retrieve your certification documents from inside. Easily done. So here's some of the uh, later ships. We've got a Tempest, Maelstrom, Fenrir, Mammoth. Hey, these are the battleship class. Let me just turn this off so you can... No, wrong button. Turn this off so you can see them a little bit better. We have towards the front here we have the cruisers and the tiny little frigates and then we've got uh, destroyers. Some reason they're behind the cruisers. But that's fine. Uh, we've got battle uh, battle cruisers battleships and industrial ships that's just for one that's just the one side that's uh, the Minmatar that's the race I chose and I believe if I look over here there are some Kaldari ships these ones for some reason are moving that's a Roke uh, this is a Scorpion and as you can see they have a very different de design philosophy Oh, we've even got some Galente here as well. That's a Galente Cruiser Celestis. And I think I saw an Amai, yeah. This is uh, an Arbitrator. 
So you can see there's uh, very different design ethics between the de various uh, groups. So let's go ahead and open that. That's our item. So we go and drag it to our cargo hold. We can close the cargo now. So that's that done. You may want to take a closer look at this fleet of ships. The oh, really? The function allows you to get a closer view from one of your camera drones. I already have. The show information command can give you detailed information on anything you have selected. Let's go ahead and choose this maelstrom. Uh, show info. It's actually show you much information of anything. So... Now you need to return to the system you came from. The system name will be displayed in your mission journal, which stores information about any active missions you have. Open the mission journal now. Set the destination to your starting system through the mission journal. Now the destination is set, warp to the highlighted Stargate and jump back through to your starting system. Speak with me again at the station to complete the mission. The highlighted one is the one in yellow, basically. There are two tones of yellow in this game, very subtle. Uh, basically, the pure yellow here, that is the one for, they use for highlighting. There's a slightly paler version that they use for relatively important places in space. See, it's still highlighted, so we can go ahead and dock. And this is a habit you should get into whenever you warp. If you press Ctrl and R, it reloads all your guns. Typically warping anywhere takes longer than 10 seconds unless it's through one of those acceleration gates you saw earlier. So if you're hitting Ctrl R, you're reloading and if you end up warping straight into a fight, then you've got full guns. So she wanted us to talk to her when we arrive. Excellent work. You've now learned all of the basics a capsule pilot needs to know. Now that you've covered the essentials, you're ready to complete more advanced courses. Throughout each course you will be rewarded with more money and items than you'll be able to make elsewhere, and completing the courses will also reward you with new ships. There are a number of courses available, from combat, to exploration, to industry and more. Speak with me again when you're ready to begin. So yeah, missioning, great way to get money. Just give me a second, I've got an itch. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so, that's that back. So, moving onwards. Transport your goods, clearance papers. Well, uh, that appears to be the very last mission that Aura gives us, so we'll go ahead and accept to it. To reach your new agents, you will need to jump through multiple stargates before arriving at your destination. Use the set destination command to guide you along the correct route, and then dock at the station where they are located. So, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and finish this mission, except I can't complete it here. This is a courier mission, and basically it means we have an item that we need to take somewhere. If we put it in the cargo hold, make sure we've not left any ships here. And the items, item hanger is empty. Because we won't be coming back here again, uh, not for anything important at least. So we can go ahead and undock, and we will make our way to our destination. takes ages to get through the uh, docking ring, it's crazy. So we'll go ahead and get jumping. And this is three jumps, so it gives me some time to actually get through a few things that I want to bring up. This is an LP, obviously, a let's play. And that basically means that I play the game, you watch, but how I play the game can be determined by you. So I want to hear from you, either in-game or in YouTube comments, on how you want me to con proceed. Now I'll have ideas on how I want to do things, but there may be a great idea that you have that you think would be great for for this kind of a thing. Uh, now I'm thinking, obviously, 
well, not so obvious to the people that don't really play El uh, Eve, relatively obviously, um, people may not be interested in having someone who's recording their every move and posting it on YouTube in their corporation. So I'm thinking, do I want to find a corporation and hopefully an alliance that will take that on? Or do I want to start my own corporation uh, and get things going that way so that I can do what I want to do in a corporation and hopefully you guys will be able to play the game alongside me and how am I going to train this character so that's another thing obviously uh, one of my goals is to get into PvP I mean PvE it's going to be interesting for a short while but there's only so many missions before before it starts looping on itself you know so PvP is definitely a goal hopefully I'm going to get into that uh, relatively quickly within a month hopefully and I'm terrible at fitting uh, basically this this stuff here is it control F? no that's the FPS monitor it's alt F, I always get those two confused basically I'm terrible at fitting my ships I'm going to be honest that's, that's just the way it is. Um, I have trouble finding decent fits on Battle Clinic because it's it's not particularly a website that works well with the way I think, shall we put it. Uh, it confuses me terribly. So if you have any suggested fit, uh, ship fittings, then feel free to post those in the YouTube comments and I will take those in EFT format if you can do it. Um, if you have uh, if you have it in Eve fitting XML, uh, if you want to go ahead and send that to me privately, uh, do that say over Eve mail or private me with a download link, and I'll have a, I'll check those out. So we're nearly at the the uh, docking station now. So there's just one last thing that I want to go over. Do I want to cross train? It's probably a bad idea because it does delay you getting into the later ships in your own faction. I mean, obviously, I've started Minmatar here. As there are reasons for that, and I'll go that in, into those in a later episode. But do I want to cross train? Probably not, if I'm quite honest. So I'll go ahead and get docked. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this just so that I can get into it and then I'll start on to episode 2 where, ideally, I should be starting with the career specialist agents here. Probably Fialka uh, as uh, Fikalia even because I know from memory that she is the one who deals with PvP as opposed to the... no, PvE as opposed to uh, industry and business. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now and I will see you in episode 2. Thanks for watching.